From Dallas, greeting sexy Gandalf and the enforcer of thou shalt not have ease in thy name. My wife and I have built a good life uh, for being in our mid-twenties. I'm a Nashville police officer and a Marine veteran. My wife is a drop-dead gorgeous lover of Christ and an ER nurse. Uh, she has the maternal instincts that would put a mother grizzly to shame, and she is a homemaker if God ever made one. We have two beautiful toddler daughters who are the light of our lives. But one thing just isn't right, and that is that I do not feel Christ in my soul, and I have not for years now. It has been eating me to my core for a while now, but the stakes have been raised ever since I've become a father. I feel wise enough and competent enough to raise level-headed, conservative-minded, humble daughters, but I feel that my lack of personal relationship with Christ is going to have me miss out on the most important lessons of all, if I cannot convey the importance and the need for Jesus' love and acceptance uh, to them, then everything is for nothing. Why won't God answer my prayers to light the fire in me again? I look forward to your reply, and hopefully it does not end with you calling me a schmuck. It will not end with my calling you a schmuck. Love the show and the awesome content you produce. Uh, no, you're doing great. You're doing uh, terrific, and and that's a wonderful thing. You know, what I thought about uh, when I'm reading this is I thought about M uh, Mother Teresa who said that for the last 20 years of her life, I think it was, uh, she, she had lost her faith and she couldn't understand it and she just kept pushing on. And then it came to her that she was having the experience that Christ had on Good Friday on the cross, that sense of desolation he felt when he cried out, oh my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Uh, and she said she realized that all the time she thought she had been separated uh, from Christ, she was actually being brought closer to him in that moment of suffering. So. Uh, you know, it, it, Jesus said, if, if you knock, the door will be open to you. And, and I am a big believer in praxis, which is the opposite of theory. Uh, praxis is practice as opposed to, to theory. And I, that is, I believe you, you should do things to get to the place internally that you want to be. I was talking about um, the kind of meditation I do on the Gospels. It has a Latin name that I keep forgetting every time I open my mouth. Le Lectio Divina, I think it is. Um, but the prayer, the, the kind of prayer that I always recommend, which is going someplace where you're alone, speaking out loud to God. I know it can feel funny at first, but if you speak out loud to God, you don't, your, your thoughts don't trail off into nothing uh, and you're focused and so you can say what you have to say. Obviously, God knows what you have to say, but that communication can be brought to your consciousness fully. You have to take time. You have to take time with God, you know, and talk to him and, and let him know, uh, not just please connect with me, but, you know, actually connect with him. The, the, the cool thing about God is that he's like Brazil. It's like, even if you don't believe in him, he's there. He doesn't need you to believe in him to exist. A lot of people say that I've lost my faith in God as if somehow that's going to hurt God. No, it's just your problem connecting. So, you know, the only thing I would recommend to you is like God, God is taking you through something. And I think that uh, if you talk to him about it, uh, it, it will it will come back. And in the meantime, maybe this this sense that the fire has gone out and you is telling you something that you need to know, is giving you an experience that you need to have. Um, and, and I think that once you have the faith that he's not gone, doesn't matter what you are feeling, he's not gone, then you can talk to him whether you're feeling it or not. And you will find, I think, that um, a lot of those emotional facets uh, will come back and will, will arise when, when God feels that that's the right thing to do. If you want more Clavenny goodness, like and subscribe. And if you want all the Clavenny goodness, subscribe to my podcast wherever you get your podcasts.